And welcome to this week's edition of the John Peacock Coaches Show. I'm John Massoni here with Venice City Head Football Coach John Peacock. And Coach, special week here at Venice High School Football. Uh, state Championship this coming up Saturday night against the Lakeland Dreadnoughts. Made it, made it to the final dance. Made it to the dance three years in a row now That's that the we've goal. been there. Um, we came out Friday night and we played a great football football team and DeLand and our kids uh, were excited to play and they answered the bell and um, we're, we find ourselves back in familiar territory um, get to actually redeem ourselves from last year yeah, and yeah. against the same opponent so a little bit of payback we get to get a chance to get a little bit of payback for them. so last Friday night 51 21 victory over the DeLand Bulldogs and just a just a really I mean, interesting matchup, obviously, because of the single wing offense that they ran, but also interesting matchup because you have a sort of a legacy type of coach coming in right. uh, with his team, a newer team for him, but running running the stuff that he's run for years. Um, never really getting a chance to practice against. So that's the thing. There's no practice for that. You got to kind of you kind of very you, tough to plan right. and just see how you go. And I thought uh, again, once again, the defense. Once they got their feet in the ground and said, "Oh, this is what it is, and this is what this guy's going to do to me," or how would it, the matchups really? They came up, they came on strong, and, and really held them to in check for the rest of the game. Yeah, the defensive staff did a great job um, getting our kids ready to play, and you know it, it's a tough it's a tough offense. And um, that's one, one thing you, you, you're correct about is you can't prepare against it because you can't simulate it. So right. You can't simulate it in, uh, on your scout team. And I, after that first drive, they kind of got in the sideline and. Um, you know, they kind of they kind of started slowing down for them a little bit, and uh, we were able to get some stops. And you know, I felt like if we could get some stops early, we could kind of make them chase us a little bit. And I think when you ever get somebody to chase you a little bit, that they uh, might get out of their game plan yeah, a little yeah. bit. And we were able to get get a stop, and we went up seven points, and then we um, went onside, and uh, we were able to to execute that properly. And we got an onside kick, and uh, then we went up 14, and I felt like we were, you know, I thought at that point we were um, kind of in the driver's seat. Yeah, because, again, that offense, while it can be a quick strike offense, it's really predicated on four, five, six, seven right. yards at a time. When it's really working, you know, there, it's a it's an offense where you, you just kind of stick with it, stick with it, and, you know, the longer you stick with it, you'll hit a big pass or you'll hit a big run eventually. But um, it's, it's a wing tee. Yeah. Esh, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, not exactly. It's uh, but it, but it's similar to this to the fact that you know you want to try to, you know, outman people to one side and um, you know, kind of it's kind of easier blocking than uh, gap scheme blocking. And, right. Um, I thought our guys did a great job against it. I thought too. I mean, not that it, it just, I, you don't want to. This is not a, a slight, but the choreography of it all. Okay, the way it's the movements, the snapping of the ball. Oh, it's, if you, you could get lost of where, where the heck the ball is. I, it's got to be hard to, to remember which way you got to go because sometimes the play, the subtlety of the play is that you do like a pirouette spin around the other direction and go. Right. Or you do this. or But you're, but you're, and you're, and you're going in. I think I only saw one time in the game where they kind of bumped into each other a little bit. Yeah. No, they're very, I knew they were going to be really very good well coached. It. Yeah. Very well coached. And uh, tough kids, you know, obviously tough kids and, I just felt like we were able to get get in front, and um, our kids were ready to play, and you know we had some kids that make some big time plays. And you know, going into this, the next game, uh, it's probably it's it was I would I wouldn't say that it, it it did a lot for you guys, but I think that 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 tough it out kind of mentality that you had to go against the land, I think it's I think it extends out to any other game, especially in the playoffs. You said, hey, we had that was when we had to really fight on and and and, and struggle, and we we weren't quite, but you got through it. So it's right. got to be a little bit of, a little bit of a help to go to the next step. Yeah, you know, I think we've had a bunch of challenges, different, you know, every week's a different challenge, and, um, you know, this week is no different. You know, th this week it's just basically everything's it's for everything. Yeah. You know I mean? It's yeah. for a winner gets a ring and the loser gets a T-shirt. Right. You yeah. know, so it's That's everything's it kind of on the table, and, you know, every team that, you know, starts off in August is, uh, you know, their aspirations are to win a state championship, and. You know, now we got two teams that are actually there um, and have a chance to do it. So, um, you know, we're we're excited about being there, but at the same time, um, job's not finished. Like, 
Absolutely not. This is our this is our third trip in three years, and you know the first trip ended very happily, and the second trip did not end very happily. Right. So we know what it's like on both ends of, ends of it, and we definitely don't want to be uh, showing up satisfied and showing up happy that we're be, happy to be there um, because you you show up happy to be there, then it's not going to end up it's not going to end up well for you. This year we're in Tallahassee for the, for the games, so a little bit different experience. You know. Uh, the routine may be about the same, but the, but the, just the the, uh, the platform a little different where we're going to be up there. So weather will be a little different, and uh, obviously the drive will be a little different too. So hopefully, you know, we get up there, get, get settled in, and our fan base gets there like they always do, and uh, we'll, we'll hopefully have, have, have right. a good time with it. Uh, we're again here at Bogies. Uh, always appreciate Bogies having us tonight. A little, little, this is always the – being from a restaurant background a little bit, there's always a lull, like – a week or so, like into December, either people are haven't started shopping yet, or they're starting right. whatever. But next, if you were here it's next week or so, about to pick up. it'll yeah. it, it'll it'll be crazy because then everybody's out shopping and looking for a place to go. To well, eat. we got one final show next week, and hopefully, it's a happy one. Yeah, no doubt about that. So again, thank you to Bogies for all you've done for us this year. We well it took it took what fifteen weeks. We both got the same thing, the same yeah, the same stuff this time. So we went we went we know we're it's a. Uh, it's a carb up week for us, so we, we went salads and decided to get ourselves a little healthy, with a little greenery. So anyway, with that, we'll take our first break of the night. Come back with the highlights from the game with the land on Friday night, and uh, I guess we, like any, anytime we score fifty one, it's got some good highlights. I know I know one or two that I am looking forward to seeing. Yes. So with that, we'll take a break and come back here with the John P. Co- Co- Coaches Show right after this. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility: Jenkins Chevrolet, State College of Florida. Bogies of Venice, Venice Pest Control, Sarasota Ford, Absolute Aluminum, Chick-fil-A Pelican Plaza, Douglas Jeep, and Lightning Fast Car Wash. Education, career, future. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. And we're back here at Bogies and the John Peacock Coach Show. And Coach, like we said, 51-21 win for the Venicinians of the Lamb Bulldogs. 51 means there's a lot of a lot of highlights we need to see, so let's get right to it. Let's check them out. All right. They got the ball first. They got the ball first, and they they actually went right down the field um, and scored very quickly, which was uh, very concerning. Um, that was our best player that first drive there. They 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 hit a wide open tight end. They yeah. um, you know but went right down and scored. We got the ball back, and we did really well. You know, Gator here has a nice thirteen yard run. Um, ran the ball extremely well. I wasn't sure. And wasn't positive that we were going to be able to run the ball as, as well as we did, but they had a tough, tough time stopping us, right. stopping our run game. No, really, I, I, I was a little surprised by by the, how well we played. We, we were on it on for for sure. Big that fourth, day. big fourth down here conversion to uh, Jace Barksdale. Um, I think we were three of three on fourth downs uh, Friday night. And to, to, just to say where we got a second here, the the Jaden didn't have to throw the ball very much. No, I think he threw the ball nine. We threw the ball nine eight, times, eight, eight times. Eight times he had eight, but four for eight. That was a that was a big one though. The yeah. first drive kept it alive, and then uh, I think the next play, uh, Gator Gator scores a touchdown here. Just hits that hole. And yeah, he's got, he's got different gear. He's playing really well, and so, you know so is Alvin. Alvin's doing a great job running the ball extremely well, and like, two kind of different running styles, but uh, both very effective. You see here, they got a little unbalanced look. And you can say this, this, you, the balls get to, and, and there it is, boom. He's uh, we do a good job, it. good job stopping them, and we were able to come up with the stop. The second drive, I think they had a um, offsides that kind of put them behind the sticks that helped us. Yeah, you're right. You're so right. So they're at third and five right here, and uh, we're able to come up with a, make a play and get the ball back, and we went right I back down. I think they punted on this one too. I think they tried to get it inside the ten, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they did. They punted it, and they got a uh, touchback, so they punted right here. And we got the ball at the twenty, and then two plays later, we had it. We're back in the end zone. Right. Yeah, definitely. A- Let's see, this is the first play we got stopped, and then Alvin hits his longest run of the year uh, for eighty yards. And you see this receivers doing an awesome job blocking downfield, not holding, but and you know, kind of clearing right. the path. You see CJ there. I mean, he's just, just running and keeping him away. Yeah, it's like like they just did screening a, they him did off. An a unbelievable bit. job downfield blocking. Very impressive. 
No, it, like I said, and you, I, I, and you, you and there was a play a little later where you're watching, and uh, I think it's CJ's run back, and he actually slows down a little bit yeah. to let them get a block on him. To, to we're actually clear. able to get a, a two point here um, from Gasati, and we actually went up 15 to 7. You know, so that gave us another little advantage we felt pretty good about. This, this is a nice one. This is a, this is a good one right here. A little flip and a quick throw and a nice throw at that. That's, that's one of those ones you can, you can throw it, you know, get a little – it's too wide open kind yeah. of moment. Yeah. So we're able to get a, get a little advantage there, and then um, they're able to get the onside kick, the great kick. Go. I think they kind of jumped the gun and went up and tried Touched to touch it. it, and we were able to get the recovery. Um, did a great job. Borelli got the ball. Yeah, Borelli got the ball. Did a great job um, making the play there. And then we handed the ball off a few more times, and we're back in the end zone. And kind of really had a big upper hand at that point. You see Gator there with another another big run. Um, I, thought but, the, I thought the game was going to take a little, go be a little shorter because of the running they do. But they threw the ball more than we did. So it ended up being yeah, kind of the exact right opposite. Here, we were able to score, I think. Three yeah. plays and that was a heck of a block right there too. Yeah, <laughs> the offensive line played unbelievable. Coach Hunter did an unbelievable job getting those guys ready. Um, just really, really overall, I thought we played well in all aspects: special teams, and offense, and defense. They were able to come up with another stop, um, and then we were able to make get down down the field and score another touchdown. We were, I think, we were perfect on offense. We didn't. Um, yeah, no punts, no punts, and no turnovers on no downs. turnovers. Yeah. And then when the twos got in, they, they moved the ball as well. So It's another 40-yard run by Alvin. He had a big night, 180. He went over 1,000. Have, he sure have did. Have two guys over 1,000 now. And again, uh, downfield blocking by Gasati. Um, <laughs> they, it's like as soon as they see it, they, it looks like they get, they get charged up. Yeah. You know, they're ready to get in and start blocking. It's Jaden right here. Jaden, a nice tough run. I mean, the way he finishes that run. Uh, just a little short. He said his knee was down. We we'll had to slow that down to see. But, yeah, it was uh, close. He did a nice job getting in there. And I think this is where he – does he score here? Or does Alvin, I think he scores here. Yes. Because uh, Jaden had two touchdowns. Yeah, Jaden Jaden scores he here. He had a short one and he had an 11-yarder later on. Uh, compliments – everybody, everybody liked the Lands color idea. Did the, they? the numbers popped off. Everything was – you know, the press box guys. We're oh, always yeah, looking it's for. Nice sh in the we're press not in the boxes, shadows. So, yeah. We can see all that stuff. So it was. Uh, wasn't right. It wasn't white versus green, but it was like yellowish versus green. So it kind of worked. Kind of Venice Vikings. You did I, exactly uh, what I thought of when I saw it. This was a great job of the defense. Um, this is towards the end of right. them getting down in the goal line, and we came up with a big. I mean, this is a huge stop. I mean, we had them. We we held them. They got down to the five yard line, and we uh, we kept them from scoring. That was that was a. They huge, kept them going backwards too, is what I think that ended up happening. Yeah, this is fourth down. Yeah. This is I mean this is fourth and goal. Like they had first first and goal at the five, and we were able to hold them out of the end zone. That was a um, huge series for us for our defense. Yeah, and almost the first interception of the year against the land. Yeah, Lee had it in that last last highlight. And let's see, we got the ball down there. Um, Right, right by our end zone, and Gator does a nice job. I think we gave him the ball like five or six yeah, times. Yeah, it's, it's a great drive. It's just like yeah. it was ten, some eight, big runs, ten, and then you were in business. Typically, when you give him that ball that many times, he's going to break one. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of waiting for that. But you can see there, even the defensive alignment's a little exotic. You know what I mean? The yeah, no, of, no, they they were a little different on defense for sure. Gator again comes out of the pile. Yeah, a bunch of 10 yard, 10, 15 yard runs. By Absolutely. Him. Yeah, his, his stat line was a little different, but it was a consistency that he put out there. Alvin comes in and uh, breaks off a big run. And a 15 yard penalty on top of it. <laughs> he got slung around there, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. I don't notice that. I, 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 and it was, through, it was rain. There. It was raining yeah. flags. Everybody threw it on that one. Well, then here, you know, this series, we kind of slowed it down. I was kind of. Making sure they didn't get the ball back with too much time to and put a drive together. Yeah, and you end up scoring. Yeah, no, we didn't. We didn't. We got that. We ended up getting the ball back, but I was we. You know, the first time in the season that we slowed down the offense, and uh, I told Jaden like, "Hey, look, we don't necessarily want to score here." Let's. And he went ahead and scored. I want him to <laughs> want to kind of hold the ball a little bit. <laughs> right, right. Oh, that's yeah. You're right. You're right because it was a little time left for them. Yeah. So yeah. they we stop them here. 
and then we get the ball back, and we actually missed some plays. We, we had a chance to score. There's a nice um, sack. That was uh, Daly yep. and, and Ashari getting Daly and Ashari, together. Yep. yep. There's another, another chance for an interception. That was real close to being picked off. Yeah, you know, I might be wrong on that. I think we think we do score one more time. I think you are I, right. Yeah. We did have – CJ had a return called back, too. He had a really nice that, return. That's what it is. It's yeah. the it's this it's the uh, it's the return that gets called back I think because then he came out and they kicked it to him the second half and then he did yeah but I don't think it's just drive. It's not that one well but yeah, I guess it is because here it is <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good one and it's I, I was I, you say you're watching him and you th you see him he just kind of lets it go and then all of a sudden decides and boom then those three guys are taken care of and then here you're 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 out the door at this point yeah he's he is I don't know what his <laughs> Average return is, but it's it's got to. I have to. I, I that's something I should add up. I haven't I done. It's well, I, I, could, I could just look it up on Max Preps. Now, now this is the uh, this is the second half coming. Yeah, out this now. is the first drive of the second half. Uh, this is after we score this, the, the running clock starts, and then we're able to put the backups in. Kind of know that we're headed back to the big There's, dance. Alvin got a. I think that was was that a face mask on that one? I'm not sure, but no, was, he's getting slung all over the place, isn't he? <laughs> he sure is. They got in like they got in like that. He's rolling. He's, he's rolling with it though. Yeah. And there you go, touchdown. Well, if they're slinging you forward, you're getting a couple extra yards. So if you can if you can handle the slinging, you're 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 in yeah, good well, shape. It doesn't look like it feels too no, good. No, it does. <laughs> when your legs are getting whipped yeah. around like that, yeah. But uh, then we're able to get another two-point conversion here with Gasati. A straight throw right here, and it's yeah. a pretty good throw. Yeah. You know Platt's a really good receiver, too. <laughs> yeah. so. He has the height advantage on that on that guy for sure. They're all 6'4 of them. Another another good good night of kicking. Um, that That's the biggest thing you see right here. Great play there by Chris Lee. You know, it took on the block. The block making the tackle, and then we're able to get the twos in the game. And um, Nice play there, yeah. too. Come up with a little fumble recovery. Yeah, that was a, that was a fourth. Two-point conversion. Two, yeah, yeah. two-point conversion. And then they kicked, they kicked the CJ again. They kicked to him again. Because we thought – I thought they were going on side. You know, I, I would – I would well, I would have bet on that, but – I would have bet on the next one. They were definitely going <laughs> on side the next one. I, I think I won that one, too. But uh, – yeah, we had our hands team out, so I, I thought they were going to possibly onside it. But He's trying to get to a spot, right. you know. And they I kicked think it deep and tried to find a little area. And CJ went and got it. And here we go. There's that first that first step, and then off we go. And he's, his head was going back. That so was he already was... back. You know, it's a touchdown. <laughs> his head goes back, it's automatic. So he's going to touchdown. You know, it's always good to see that four or five guys coming down with him. And, and that's all the guys. On, that's all the hands team guys, yeah. too. You know, so yeah. it's uh, it's all his buddies that, are, that he's practicing with all week. So. Uh, another great play by him. And then we had, you know, uh, Schaefer did a great job. He completed, completed uh, two passes. This is a big third or fourth. Yeah, down. Tra Traeger, uh, if he could have kept Traeger, his feet. Yeah, he was it would have been a all race. by himself. <laughs> and then uh, Macho had about eight carries. And, and he, come and he ran a, hard, and he was getting slung around a little yeah. bit too. So they, I mean, their starters are still in, and we have a, I think we have a big, this is a big third or fourth. I think it was a fourth down play right there yeah good good, good Malachi. Throw and catch. Malachi yeah. did a great job catching the ball and then you see macho with a bunch of his carries he ran extremely hard um did a good job where we get some first downs there and run the clock out really so 51 21 win for Venice cities of the land bulldogs uh get you to where you want to be you're in the state finals lakeland dreadnoughts uh, eight o'clock saturday night that's 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 on the ninth uh, up in up in Tallahassee at the at the field of Florida A&M University's uh, right. home field, and so if all, all the fans can, you can make it up there, I mean, you know, obviously you want as many yeah, people Bragg, as you can. Bragg Memorial Stadium, Bragg Memorial Stadium, and I've heard good things about it. I asked a few people, and they said no, it's a beautiful facility, beautiful field. Everything. I bet. So I, I bet said I'm is. glad to hear that. So uh, yeah, so we're looking forward to that. And uh, again, it's 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 you know, you you start the season off with all the hopes and aspirations of what you you know you get knocking all your goals down. And now you're here, you know, right. and so you're at, you're at you're at the precipice of what you want to do, and I think I think I think you know you've you've everything that leading up to it, everything has been done, the the games that we've played, um, I think it's all you've, it's all prepared to to be successful next week or this week, I should say. Yeah, no, there's no doubt, and I think we're we're uh, 
kind of hitting our stride at the right time. Yeah, no doubt. So with that, we'll take a quick break and come back and talk a little bit more about uh, this coming up Saturday's game. Uh, we'll talk a little about Lakeland, maybe a little bit of the history of Lakeland and Venice and all that stuff. So we'll be back here at Bogies with the John Peacock Coach Show right after this. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility. Jenkins Chevrolet, State College of Florida, Bogies of Venice, Venice Pest Control, Sarasota Ford, Absolute Aluminum, Chick-fil-A Pelican Plaza, Douglas Jeep, and Lightning Fast Car Wash. Education, career, future. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. And we're back here on the John Peacock Coach Show and Coach Lakeland Dreadnoughts. Um, I mean, historically, if you want to call it that, they've been, uh, you know, one of the top two, three powers in the state. You would say no. I'd say they are, they are the top power. In the okay, state. so yeah, that, yeah, there I you think go. They are the the um, crown jewel of the state of Florida. Um, you know, there's there might be some other teams with some more tradition, but you know, the way that you know doing it right, you know, whatever. especially public schools. I mean, you're talking yeah, that's what I'm schools. talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't think you can compare private and public. There's, right, just, right. There's too many different rules that they both go by to compare Correct. them. Correct, no doubt. And Lakeland comes in. Obviously, I would say after after state championship season last year. Um, you know, you're always retooling every year. But I know they had a lot of guys that that, that graduated 21. last year. Yeah, 21 out of 22 starters, and um, you know, so for them to get back, that's that's huge. Like that, I can't imagine. You know, basically graduating both your offensive and defensive units, then making it back to the big dance. That's and they a, had a, they had, I mean they had a tough road. Like they had to play Buholtz, who was the number one seed, and they're loaded too. Right. And they went up to Buholtz to their place, and came out with a victory. And what Lakeland brings as far as offense and defense hasn't really changed. The, the, the legendary Bill Castle not being there anymore. He retired this past year. Um, but yeah, still- I don't think you, you – I, mean, I think if you turn last year's film on and turn this year's film on, you wouldn't, you wouldn't say, hey, the – Yeah, look at the difference. The, yeah. Someone's – you know, <laughs> the offense coordinator's gone because Castle called the offense. So uh, they run the same, same stuff they've been running. You know, they'll get into, you know, uh, the wing, uh, some wing T stuff. They'll, they'll – They'll be in spread, you know, they'll get an eye. And they'll, you right, know, it's, right. So they do, they're still doing all the things they've always done. And, again, the, the, you know, the culture has been there. It's been there for a long time. So whoever was there last year is now in, in the position to get their opportunity to do something. Yeah. I think with a team like that and a, a program like that, I think there's a expectation. Sure. You know, not only by, you know, expectation by the, by the fan base and expectation by the administration, but there's – I'm sure there's an expectation by the players as well. You don't know how to – sometimes you just you, – you, you raised how to – learn how to win. Right. You watch the guy in front of you like, well, that's how he did it, so I'm going to do it the same way. Right. It's a work ethic scenario. It's, it's, it's everything in your effort and a game, uh, responsibility to your teammates, all those things that kind of come along with being a really, being a really good program. Yeah, so I think there's the expectation on all, all fronts, all levels. And, you know, they're going to – they're coming in the game expecting to win. Yeah, no doubt night, about it. Because so. I, I, – if you've been there, you, you, you feel like you can, you can do it again. And, and coming off a big, a big high against Buholz. I mean, they went up to, the, to their place and, to their and, place, and, and yep. took, took care of business. Yep. And, uh, you know, so, so they got to feel like, that, that, you know, it's, it's their turn to, to do it again and exactly. see, 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 where, see what it comes with it. We'll take one more final break here in the John Peacock Coach Show and come back and talk a little bit about some of the uniqueness of, 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 a, of a championship weekend, we, weekend game day and all that kind of stuff. We'll talk about some of the ins and outs of that, and then we'll uh, – Wrap it up and see where, where things going, right? Yeah. With that, yeah. so with that, we'll come right back here and wrap up this edition of the John Peacock, Peacock Coaches Show. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility: Jenkins Chevrolet, State College of Florida, Bogies of Venice, Venice Pest Control, Sarasota Ford, Absolute Aluminum, Chick Fil A Pelican Plaza. Douglas Jeep, and Lightning Fast Car Wash. Education, career, future. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. And welcome back to Bogies. And again, thank you, Bogies, for having us here each and every week. 
and the John Peacock Coaches Show. And Coach, uh, it's a unique week. Obviously, the uh, preparation, I'm sure you're getting not just doing the, the show tonight, but other media obligations in some way. I know there's a lot of things I got to get that the state requires from the administration. But overall, the real, the real, the real interesting part of it is the actual uh, travel and or yeah, everything else you get more, there. I think you tell, help to, you take care of some of that stuff for some the state. Of the, some for of the state and, stuff, yeah. Um, but you know, setting up the itinerary for the for the week, you know, and and how we're going to get there and what we're going to do. Uh, that's that's the one part that's. Uh, you know, I'm still I still got a few things I got to figure <laughs> out. I'm trying to figure out how we're going to wash these dang uniforms <laughs> on Saturday night, but. Um, you know, we're going to go up Friday morning. Um, we're going to stop at University of Florida and practice at their indoor facility. Uh, have our normal, what would be a Thursday practice on Friday. Right. Um, get back on the bus and, and make the final trip to Tallahassee. And um, we're going to have a meal in the hotel. And then we're going to go watch Coach Shannon's old high school play yeah, Bradford, Coco. Bradford. Team we lost to um, week two of right. the season. They're playing for a state championship. And uh, so that should be fun to watch. And then Saturday we have to stay in the hotel all day <laughs> because we play at 8. So I'm going to wake up and we'll have a team meal in the, for breakfast. And then we'll do some walkthroughs. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll give them some time, time you know, free time. They want to nap or whatever. And then we'll bring them back, do, do another walkthrough, and uh, have our team meal. And we'll watch a little bit of the Army-Navy game. And I think we're only seven minutes away from the stadium. Yeah, it's close. Where our hotel is. So, um the hotel has been gracious enough to let us check out at three, which is huge. Fantastic. Um, you know, so it's it's uh, doing all that stuff and planning the meals. The, the meals alone, yeah, are costing our touchdown club around thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, so those are yeah. Those you, know, you, you think you're going to make money going to state champs? <laughs> you're not going to make money. You're, so, you're going to lose. That's and, not even talking about getting the rooms. Right. And so and so you have and you have an entourage. I mean, you have the, with the kids and coaches and yeah. everybody else. You got like 80 people going right. up. No, and, actually, uh, 90. I think there's 90 people with the water girls and all that stuff that you're yeah. feeding. Um, yeah. But it's it's around 14 grand, and that's not that's not counting the rooms and. And, and the pre, the Gatorades we got to buy beforehand, and, and you got to do it right because you can't do it. You know, this is you got to no, make sure everything yeah, is on, tra- on right. track. You yeah. got to do it right. And then the sure. other part of this is very interesting. Apart about this week, this game in particular, there is a odd amount of sort of like you're almost like in an aquarium because now you've got parents and fans and everybody's kind of in the same orbit that you would never have. Like they're not in your locker room with you during a the game. They're out right. there, but in this case, everybody's kind of around you and whatever else, and you got to kind of navigate that. But I've always seen that that, the, that for the most part, ninety nine point nine percent of the time, everybody who's there is very very um, cautious as to what they how they behave and how they say or not not approaching the kids too much uh, right. when it comes to certain things. But it is well, it's, you an, know, the, it's an interesting kind of uh, melting of people in that situation. There's a lot of fun things that or neat things that you know we get to do when a situation like usually we go to Venezuela and yeah, we do a walk of champions. Right. Yeah. But we're not going to be able to do that because we have to get on the road and. You know, the main thing is we got to win the game. Right. And I, right. I, I keep trying to, you know, profess that to the kids. Like, the main thing we got to do is win the game. It could be raining. Um, I don't care if it's snowing. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But at the end of the night, I don't care if there's five people in the stands or there's 50,000 people in the stands. At the end of the night, there's going to be a winner. There's going to be a loser. And the winner's going to get a ring and go down in history. And, right. And it's going to have a legacy. And the loser's going to get a T-shirt. Right. Right, and that then that, that, that's the cold hard. If facts we have of any it. money left, you might have a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that's the cold hard facts yeah. of it all. But again, it's it's the fact that we, as we sit here today, the excitement to build, the anticipation yeah. is all there. And, and, and you know, you that's another thing is that. like we we got to make sure that we are we're laser focused like right. we've been and don't let the moment be too big for us. Yeah, take care of business. That's yeah. for sure. Well, coach, here we go. Hopefully, everybody out there is is being able to watch us. Bally Sports. Uh, look up look up Bally Sports. They have they have they'll have a. An application you can get, or for you for you to get there, or some sort of pay per view uh, platform to do that as well. Right. So go to Bally Sports to watch the game. There'll be no other broadcast other than the Bally Sports one. No, no live streaming from us or any radio broadcasting. It's just going to be them. So you guys got to get that. And if you can't, if you're not doing that, then get on the road and get to Tallahassee. We want you there. Yes, please. We want to make a big show, and it's always going to be a great, great experience and a great time and a, and a big win if that's if that's if that's what we, we're looking for. A yep. Big win, Coach. I'll see you. I'll see you soon. Hopefully we'll have a, a fun show next Absolutely, week. Absolutely, no yeah. doubt. Thank you guys for joining us this week on the John Peacock Coaches Show. We'll be back here at Bogies. See what, see what comes of it, right? That's right. See you next week. Oh, 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 oh,
Champion. Adventist High School, all we do is win. Man, it feel good to be an Indian. 